Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. Kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe on my YouTube channel. I hope na yung mga math videos ko ay makakatulong sa inyo in solving word problems or mathematical problems. And maraming salamat po sa inyong suporta. And sana maging masaya lang tayo in solving those kind of problems. Again, salamat and God bless. Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, pag-uusapan naman natin ay yung MTOP reviewer for grade 5. Um, actually, I have picked some questions from the division orals of grade 5 last 2018. So, dito sa easy round, I've got three questions. So, we have the easy round item number 1, 6, and 9. For the average round, I picked number 3 and 4 para mapakita ko sa inyo solution. And then, bonus question natin na yung clincher round. Pumili ako ng isang piraso. So, let's get started in discussing these different questions from the MTOP Division Round 2018 of Grade 5 students. So, we have here number 1. What number divided by 1 third will produce 315? So, ang gagawin mo dito, sabi dyan, para mabilis mo siyang ma-solve, ma simple lang gagawin mo dyan for number 1. You will have 1 third. I-reciprocal nyo lang siya. So, you will get 3. And to find the answer for item number 1, ang gagawin mo lang is you need to multiply 3 by 315. And the answer here is simply 945. Ito yung number na hinahanap na kapag multiply nyo by one third, it will produce, it will divide by one third, by one third, it will produce 315. So that's it. That is the answer for item number one. So let's go with item number two. For item number two, sabi dito, what is halfway between one over five and one over six? This one is quite common sa mga math competition. Pag sinabi natin halfway, to find the halfway, ang parang sinasabi doon ay yung gitna or yung midpoint ng mismong numbers na yan. First thing you need to do is to add the fraction. You have 1 over 5 plus 1 over 6. So when you apply butterfly method, it will give you 6 plus 5 over 30. So, ginawa lang natin, we multiplied 1 and 6, 1 and 5, tapos multiply natin yung denominator. So, we have 6 plus 5 all over 30, and that will give you 11 over 30. At since halfway yung hinahanap natin, this 11 over 30 will be divided by 2. Kasi gitna yung hinahanap natin, that's why we need to divide it by 2. So, to simplify that, you will have 11 over 30, and this 2, gagawin nyo lang, you need to get the reciprocal of 2, which is 1 half. And then, multiply mo siya rito sa 11 over 30. And simplifying this fraction, you will have 11 over 60. This is the halfway of 1 fifth and 1 over 6. I hope na nakuha niyo yung ating solution o yung way, okay, yung method natin on how to solve the problem number 6. Let's go with number 9. Sabi, ah, erase mo na natin. Sabi, the area of a square is 1.69 square. Check natin, may kulang tayo dito ang letter Q. Okay square centimeters. What is the length of each side? Remember, the formula for the area of the square is simply area is equal to s squared. Okay? So, ang mangyari lang dyan, ang gagawin mo, since yung area natin in the given problem is 1.69 centimeter squared, ipapalit mo lang tong value na to sa A. So, you will have 
1.69 centimeter squared be equal to S squared. And then, since ang hanap natin ay yung value ng S, ito yung pinapanap sa atin kasi sabi, what is the length of each side? So, next step natin dito is you need to get the square root of the left side and right side of the equation. The square root of 1.69 centimeter squared is simply 1.3 centimeters. So, this is S. This is the value or the length of each side of the square, 1.3 centimeters. Okay? Are we done? Clear sa atin yan? So, let's proceed with item number 3 and number 4 on the average round. Sabi dito, what is the result when the sum of 7 over 6 and 3 over 4 is divided by the, their difference? So, unang gagawin dito is kunin muna natin yung sum 7 over 6 plus 3 over 4. And then, pangalawa nito, kunin natin yung difference ng dalawang fraction. This is 7 over 6 minus 3 over 4. Okay? So, we can apply here butterf butterfly method. This is 28. This is plus 18, right? 7 times 4, 28. 6 times 3, 18. And then 6 times 4 is equal to 24. And simplifying this fraction, you will get 46 over 24. San sila parehas? Ano bang pinaka na nila? That is 23 over 12. So, ayan yung sum ng dalawang fraction. And for their difference, you will have 28 minus 18. Divide over 24. And this is 10 over 24 or simply 5 over 12. Ito yung sum. Ito yung difference. So, ang gagawin lang natin, sabi dito, what is the result when the sum of 7 over 6 and 3 over 4 is divided by their difference? So, you will have 23 over 12 divided by their difference, 5 over 12. Nagawin nyo lang po, you have 23 over 12 times 12 over 5. So, cancel lang natin ito kung mapansin nyo. Pag multiply nyo yan, you will cancel out 12. And the answer is simply 23 over 5. This is the answer for item number 3. Now, let's go with item number 4. In item number 4, sabi dito, a plate has diameter of 10 inches. Calculate the area of a plate of the plate to the nearest square inch. So, since yung plate natin can be imagined as circle, ang kailangan natin formula dito ay yung formula ng area ng circle. Pero dapat, ang gamitin natin ay yung meron ng diameter. So, you will use area is equal to d squared, d stands for the diameter, pi over 4. So, ang given natin dito is we have the diameter of 10 inches, meaning your d is equal to 10. 10 inches. Palitan lang natin yan, you will have area is equal to 10 inches squared, pi over 4 and it will give you 100 paano ba yun? parang ganti yata yan pi over 4 so before nyo multiply yung 100 by pi ang gawin nyo muna is simplify nyo muna yung 4 and 100 this is 25 and multiply nyo yung ating 
25 by pi, you will have approximately 25 inch squared times 3.14. So sabi dito, pag minultiply nyo to, you will have the answer of area is equal to 78.5 inch squared. Pero sa problem natin, puntahan mo lang na natin, sabi daw, i-round off daw natin or i-calculate natin in the nearest square inch. So, gawin natin yung whole number. For the item number 4, the final answer is simply 79 inches squared. This is the area of the plate with a diameter of 10 inches. Now, let's go with the bonus question or yung tincture question natin. If a number is multiplied by itself, the result is 45A69. If the number is divisible by 3, what is the value of digit A? So, wag nyo na, hindi nyo na kailangan ano, i-multiply kahit sa ano. Ang problem nung dito is that we have 45A69. Ang pinapahanap sa atin, what is the value of A? Ano yung value ng A? Ang clue natin dito, that this number, kapag nireplace natin yung A as a number, this is divisible by 3. Ang rule naman natin, para malaman natin whether the number is divisible by 3, kapag in natin, or if we're going to have the sum of each, each digits, tapat yung sum nila is divisible by 3. In that way, yung number na yun ay divisible by 3. So, kung iisipin nyo mabuti, paano natin gagawin yun? Um, napakadali lang tong problem na to. Look at the numbers. You have 4, 5. Brain ko muna. You have 4 and 5. When you add 4 plus 5, you will have 9. And then, meron ka pang 6 plus 9 that is equal to 15. These numbers, 9 and 15, are already divisible by 3. Kapag inad pa rin natin yan, 9 plus 15, you will have 24. So, ang gagawin na natin, ano ba yung number na pinakamalapit na divisible by 3? Eh, syempre, the number itself is 3. Therefore, the value of A is simply 3. Try natin. If we have 4, 5, 3, 6, 9. Pag inad natin yan, 4 plus 5, which is 8, plus 3, 11, plus 3, ah, sorry, plus 6, 17, plus 9, which is, again, 4 plus 5, 9, this is, sorry, 12, right, plus, 6, 18, plus 9, 27, in which yung ating 27 is divisible by 3. Therefore, the value of A is simply 3. So, kung meron kayong question or another solution sa mga problems na meron tayo, don't forget to, or don't hesitate to comment down para magkaroon ng insight yung ating mga viewers. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagsuporta. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Don't forget to like and subscribe on my YouTube channel. Thank you. Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. I hope you will learn something from this video. And don't forget to like, subscribe on my YouTube channel. Thank you.